fucking homeless pedophile with no job, in and out of hospitals, no place to live. Fucking bomb. I see you, Nova. You know who I am. Nah, I mean, as soon as the diss track came out, I was just like, fuck him, to be honest. I'm done with this shit. I mean, let me speak my mind, because I got a lot of shit to say, that's for sure. I spoke on a lot of issues that he's dealing with and what I'm dealing with, you know what? Dude's a fucking pedophile. I'll tell you that straight up. He wants to talk to 15 year old girls? I'll put them out in the open. Let's see what people gotta say about that, you know what I mean? Good, bad, either way, you know what I mean? But you know what? A lot of shit I spoke on. It's just all truth, really. But you know what? I'll let you listen to it. Get your idea, bud. Listen to this. Blog Talk Radio. What's this knob do? The program you are about to hear is intended for an adult audience. It may contain language or opinions that could be offensive to some listeners. You think that was cool? The following is presented by End of Time Entertainment, bitch. That's right. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. I kill everyone on back on Kill everyone on the word about Kill everyone. Kill everyone. Kill everyone. Back on top. Back on top. Back on top. I've been lit on fire. get back on that fallout, on the whole fallout thing, like, the whole how it actually happened, because we already know he became a little fucking faggot in the process. I mean, I mean, the way it happened was basically, like a the way it happened was basically, he was made stories up one after another, Rob was getting sick of it, I was getting sick of it, even his close friends, like, the legend and everyone was getting sick of his bullshit, so... Rob kicked him out, and he, I mean, cops are coming to Rob's house every other day with no shit. Your uh, is bleeding. Basically, Rob kicked him out. Nova came to my house with his equipment. That lasted a week until he started the beef with uh, Concept with Uncivilized. <laughs> so he stayed there. He stayed there for a week, and then we kicked him out of there too. And then after that, I told him don't come around my my property and everything. So, I have to go that field would probably be in. around the same time he hits me him. up saying, saying he wants everything to be around his, all his so shit. He wants to be covered on all his shit. He wants just him on it, on all that shit. What do you mean? What, 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 what and that's when I blew up on him, told him to go fuck himself, and that's when I wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, that's when I, that's when I did my verse and everything, because I still got... That's many shit I to say about this dude. I mean, I dropped, to, I dropped to watch this. The track for watch this, that dropped. Yeah, funny part about it all is first thing I, first person I told that was pissed that he was pissing me off to the point of no return was Rob. And then I told, I asked him and immediately handed me a beat. Yeah, as soon as, he, he basically put his foot in his own mouth, basically. When I dropped to watch this, that's when people started talking. After that, he wasn't talking. He was in and out of the shrink ward, so. I mean, dude talks out of his ass like he thinks he knows what he's talking about. And he just makes up stories as he goes. I mean, no one out here is fucking with him. But if he, I mean, if someone grabs him, then they're fucking with him and he's going to get fucked. But, I mean, they'll find him in his little black car and they'll catch him at his. It's all good, though. Yeah, like I was talking to Critty earlier, we were talking to him about it, I said, and I'm going to say it again, if I ever see that motherfucker in Michigan, I'm going to kick his fucking ass. Oh, he's definitely gonna he's definitely gonna get caught in Boston beforehand, you know what I mean? I mean when he wants to go, come flat out and try to threaten Rob, 
I mean, no one's, no one's going to take that shit in the least about the pressure. You know what I mean? They're going to grab him, and it's going to be a wrap for him. Yeah, when I heard that uh, he was supposedly going to send some type of hitman out on him, I laughed my Yeah, head. I heard about that shit, too. You know what I mean? The only hitman he knows is the fucking movie. That's all he knows. I mean, he talks out his ass. I mean, he fucked up with sicker than most. I mean, shut us to Christ and everything. I mean, but Christ tried working with him, and he fucked that whole thing up also. Yeah, he fucked the whole thing up with his, with Blue, even, too. Oh, yeah. He, he, he fucked up with um, the legend. Fucked up with Rob. Fucked up with me. Uh, he fucked with me. He says, I mean, he probably fucked up with Wu-Tang. He, I mean, he says he was in Wu-Tang. How the fuck? He ain't part of none of the chambers. The only chamber he received from them is from a 45. You know what I mean? He is totally off the number. I mean... Well, I think really, dude... I think the dude needs I mean, like, some major fucking help. I mean, I, I tried talking to him. Rob tried talking to him. Like, hey, oh, fuck it. I don't fucking care about that motherfucker anymore. Yo, they, just need to, they just need to raise his medication and put him in back into the, the, the shrink ward. You know what I mean? Stop letting him out, you know what I mean? Just keep medicating him up. Yeah. Because when I fucking yeah, get him, he's, he's, he's gonna get popped. Get. You know, there's a reason why in Texas there's a law where they execute the retarded. Ship him to Texas and then they'll just execute his dumb. Hey! Guy. I better oh, yeah, they've been, they been sure to execute him. Yeah. I mean, when that documentary drops, it's just gonna air out everything on him. I mean, it's just gonna put the light on him and... Everything he's ever said is going to get cleared. I mean, that jo- that documentary is going to come out right before the CD drops. There's, I mean, the CD coming. There's a CD coming out for the documentary. Yeah. Well, well, this thing's going to be okay. on the fucking documentary, so I'm just going to say I'm not right now. Oh yeah, this right here is going to be on the documentary right here. So, I mean, Twelve Gauge just did a joint on him. Miming into ditches, took his own beats, you know what I mean? Every beat he's ever got is now in our studio right now. Yeah. And him making claims like saying, oh, right, the biology you gave them me. Now that's complete bullshit. Or what about, oh, wait a minute. What's How he can get Madonna's engineer and all that bullshit. Nah, that's bullshit too. Oh, yeah. He's just, the way he is, it's never going to stop with him. I mean, there's so many stories that, came, that basically came out of his ass. That he can't even clear any of it up. Yeah, he's 34 years old, man. He should have grown up a long ass time ago. Oh yeah, 32 year old guy that fucks 15 year old girls. Plain and simple as that. Yeah, he's a he's pedophile. Just, Plain and simple molester. Yeah. Yeah, oh. about how small his dick is. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't seen him on Dateline. I mean, I'll probably catch him there on a Tuesday, Wednesday night. Pop TV on him. There he is, Nova game, walking into a living room. Oh, I mean, this shit, yeah, thinking about that shit, oh my god, I got this fucking story. Uh, my whole girl, Shine, who lives in uh, New York, she actually took him in for like a couple of weeks. And mm. uh, one night she almost fucked him, and then she saw how small his dick was, and she kicked him out. Mm. Oh shit. I know, I know some girl just put a restraining order on him also, just before this whole beast started also. Oh, so, yeah. and that's, when the, that's why the cops came to Rob's house too. Hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll say the simple as like this. I'll spit a freestyle right him on him right now. Now that it's beef, I'm darting eyes and crossing teeth. No matter what, how hard he tried, I still couldn't believe. Because every time he was live, even cold eyes, he's heat. Had the fiends take his medication, no trace, and after right, take his hands and feet. Put the man's beneath, had dirt, that was concrete. Because he's flirting with danger, danger with girls that's 15. With that, I, he ain't a stranger. That's why I'm removing this guy by any means. After he takes himself, it's the blame. While he's eating out of a can of beans, addicted to lying. That's a man's a fiend. Like I know we can out here dying. Eight clubs in the street. What do I think that could really describe Andrew Novocaine Scorpion Brewer? Two words. It's a fucking pathological liar. He is somebody who, in my opinion, is on the same pedestal as Psycho Sam. Somebody who should have never have gotten into this business, period. Alright? He should not have gotten into this business. He should not have even bothered thinking about getting into this business. Or anything like that. Alright? 
I first met him in 2004 through my boy Big Nick. And then again through my boy Sorg over at WPAJ. And at first he was a pretty cool guy, you know. It's one of those guys that you wanted to like hang out with, you know. He's actually cool. Because at the time I didn't know the actual real side of Andrew Brew. Now that I know the real side of Andy B, motherfucker needs help. He needs professional help. He needs to be on some medication. He needs to fucking take anger classes. He needs to take fucking mental classes. Whatever the fuck he needs. He needs just professional help. Um, two years ago, I signed to my record label, Entertainment Entertainment. And I did that as a friend and as a person that's willing to actually give somebody a chance. Looking back on it, I lost more money fucking with Novocaine than I did making. I'll be honest, Illumination only made two cents. It only sold two units. I know about this. Some dude in fucking Maine bought a copy, and some motherfucker in Massachusetts bought a copy. I know we bought two copies of the album. That's being real. And, you know, shit was still doing cool, and we were actually getting ready to do the Bomb Messiah album when, um, Rob hits me up, this is the day before I went to do a promo appearance over in Hot Topic in Travis City, and uh, he tells me that Nova's on a crazy, crazy fit talking shit about me, saying I'm whack and blah, 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 saying I'm from Rhode Island and shit. So, once that comes out, I find Andy, and I confront him about the whole thing, and it turns into a big, giant fucking shouting contest, and... Pulling on my fucking gold teeth, just talking to the dude. And you know, it just went from being a normal civil conversation, because I originally wanted that civil conversation, to straight up me fucking cussing him the fuck out. I'm yelling at him, I'm screaming at him, I'm cursing at him, and he's saying shit how blah 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 blah. I want this this way, I want this that way. Last thing you need to say is shit like that to your boss. I fired his ass immediately. I tell Lex the fucking fallout happened. Violent Messiah is done. To be honest, only two people that were actually keeping Violent Messiah full as a name was myself and Rob D. Lee was also helping. So there's three people right there. And he wasn't doing shit. I hit up X about the thing. He hands me a beat to kill a mockingbird. All shit's getting real crazy. I call my brother up, tell him Nova had the biggest Nova fit ever. Cause that's what we call his little episodes, Nova fits. And we're tired of fucking, I'm immediately tired of him fucking lying and all that shit. And out came to kill a mockingbird. To be honest, I just have one thing I have to say. Two-Face, this is the shit right now. You are doing something that no one else has done. Making a DVD exposing a motherfucker. And you know what? I'm glad to be on this shit. Because that's some honesty right here. And to Andy, if you read this, get some fucking professional help. You fucking faggot. Retire and just live the rest of your life. Alright, check this out. It's an actual copy. This is the Ma ELT Master copy of Illumination from Nova King to Scorpion. No fucking joke. No fucking joke right here. Alright. Now, yeah, you know what, that's what I think of that motherfucker, I just squashed the scorpion. Today's day one of the search of Novocaine, this is the packing lot that Novocaine likes to drive by on 